In this video, we're going out thrifting, but on this occasion, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do it blind. And no, I don't mean putting on blindfold and going into a thrift store. I mean, not going in with the number one tool every eBay reseller uses, your comp research. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna leave the phone in the car, put our knowledge to the test. Let's see what we can pick up. Well, the first one that we're putting to the test, Hollywood Mystery Classics. This one was a $10 purchase price and it only sells for 15 on eBay, so I'm glad I left that one behind. The other one as well, Yippie Guy A. We've got Bruce Willis, the Die Hard Quadrilogy here. This one was only $8, but you're only getting about 12 bucks on eBay, so I'm glad I left that one behind as well. So far, so good. This one here, this was a rusty zip-up jacket. Now, I like this one, size medium, really like the vintage look. Only the $10, but guess what, guys? I left it behind and I absolutely regret that decision. I've got a bit of dryzer bone here, a 3XL. This is a really large winter coat here. Um, the dryzer bone does really well. $50 I thought was a little bit too much, but I had a look on eBay and I think I've made a big blunder leaving that one behind as well. I picked this one up though, Catman Do. This one was a pretty stock standard staple that I would usually pick up. An $8 purchase price was enough to make the purchase. And then we've got Dragon as well. Now this is the first time I found these jeans, but to be honest with you guys, I saw a $7 price tag and I've ended up going ahead with the purchase. No idea if that's a good decision or not, but let's just see how we go. So look, a couple of items that we're able to secure, a couple of items that we've left behind. This is a little bit tricky, trickier than I thought it would be, but then when you find the Nike Metcon 4s, you're always gonna go ahead and pick these guys up. 15 bucks, I'm pretty confident with these. When we get back home, I'm gonna have a look at the comps on eBay for the three items that we bought and see if I did all right. All right, so that was definitely an interesting experiment. I realized that I'm very reliant on my comp research and my e-profit calculator when I'm out in the thrift, but nonetheless, we did come away with those really cool items. And the first one that I had there, the Nike Metcons, they always turn into about 75 bucks. So when I saw them for 15, I had to go ahead with the purchase. Hopefully the comps are telling me the right things uh, up on screen here. The other ones as well, the Catman Do, uh, women's size 12 shorts. Look, I'll always grab these if they're under $10. These ones were at seven bucks and the condition was good as well. So I'm thinking maybe $30. Let me know what the comps say there. But the other one as well here, this was the biggest, the most contentious one of the day. Look, for seven bucks, the brand is Dragon. Now, I've never found Dragon in my life, but I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube from resellers that say Dragon is a really good brand. So when I saw that, on the back, I thought maybe these are the right ones. I don't know if they're legit or not, but there's some really cool embroidery uh, on both sides and they were only $7. I've taken a stab. There's the comps. Hopefully my first pair of Dragon jeans are a good one. If I'm being honest, it was a pretty quiet weekend on eBay. If we pull the numbers up to give you a look at what took place, I was only able to sell 16 items this weekend, and I usually average anywhere between 20 to 25 sales. Total revenue of $650, but fortunately, there was an average sale price of $40 in there, which is typically what I like to average. Now, I've got three of my most favorite sales here to take you through. The first one is a brand new sealed Blu-ray copy of Dexter, the final season. I paid $5 for this in a thrift store and been able to sell it for $20 dollars and 50 cents you put this one into the e-profit calculator 16 dollars worth of profit now i wanted to put this one into the video because it is the final season and that's what people are trying to buy they're trying to complete their collections they typically sell a little better for me so make sure you are looking for the latter seasons when you are trying to sell your media uh, this one here guys have a look at this we've got a vintage mambo snapback hat How's the embroidery? Look at the embroidery on that. That is incredible. Now, guys, I bought this off Instagram, a bit of a bulk deal from a viewer of the channel. Now, uh, every single item that I bought in that haul worked out to about a purchase price of $4 each. So we got it for a steal here, guys. Been able to sell this one for $90. So thank you very much to the viewer that has sold me this allocation. Um, E-Profit Calculator tells me that a $4 purchase price, I've made myself 67 bucks on this one here. So make sure you're looking for anything vintage Mambo. Um, this one here is a very, very sweet find. Um, this one here as well, guys, I love selling my shoes. You guys know that. I've got the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost 20s here. Uh, US size eight women's pink colorway. They are in pretty much light new condition. Um, look, I sold them for 95 bucks, which is um, a pretty decent price for a good pair of shoes like these. Uh, but I wanted to put it into the video because I paid $25 for it. And I really do think you guys should be paying up for items you know you're gonna get good money for. 25 in a 95. When you have a look at the e profit calculator, I've made myself 50 bucks.
So as well as a bad weekend of sales, I also had an issue with one of my sales that came through that I haven't been able to post just yet. It was Wii Sports Resort and it actually had a different title on it. So I don't know what I was doing when I listed it and I don't even know why the buyer even had the confidence to go ahead with the purchase. But uh, I've had a look around the house and I have actually previously sold Wii Sports Resort. So I don't know what to do because I've never been in this position before. It's obviously a concern for the eBay store and I don't want to get any negative feedback. So I've had a bit of a think about it and I think I've got a good solution. Danny. Hey, how you going? Man? Oh yeah. Hey, um, have you got Wii Sports Resort on the Nintendo? I've got gaming on the white shelf. I've got gaming in the cabinet and I've got more out the back I haven't even sorted. Okay. Um, my kids work the counter, so I'm not sure what I've got. Uh, I'm just having a look. Can I have a look? Go for it. Appreciate it, mate. All right. Video games, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. With Nintendo Wii, Wii Fit, Wii Fit, Wii Fit. Wii Sports. Oh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Um, well, he did say out the back. Let's have a look out the back. Oh my goodness. How are we going to find anything out here? Jesus. You know what? I'm actually... I'm not even going to attempt it. That is just way too much stuff. Danny, I thought you of all people would have had it. You uh, don't You don't have it. Did you go through every box out the back? I could, I'd been there all day. <laughs> I can't believe how much stuff you've got out the back. Um, do, you reckon, do you reckon Jamie would have it? The Everyday Flipper. No, yes, probably. I'm going to go give him a try. Do it. All right, mate. All right. Good see to see you. No worries. Jamie, how are you? Hey, Matt. I'm doing good. How are you? How was school, mate? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Mate, I've got a question for you. I've made a bit of a blunder on my eBay page, and uh, I've accidentally sold... Nintendo Wii Sports Resort, I've double sold it and I'm looking for a spare copy and I know you're the video game man. Do you have Nintendo Wii Sports oh, Resort? You got it? My friend. Oh, yes. Incredible. Now, the big, the big question is though, what do I owe you? Oh, you're a good friend. <laughs> you help me a lot with YouTube and eBay stuff. So I'll give this one to you for free. Wow, mate! No, I owe you at least a, I owe you at least a couple of shoe finds at the flea market on Sunday. How about that? Yeah, maybe we'll see. Nah, good man. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks for your help. Okay. Cheers, yeah. bro. All right, and Jamie, do you mind just sending it off to the buyer as well? I'll flick you the details through on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Bit of an experiment to start the day. We found some cool items. We sold a bunch of stuff on eBay. So hopefully, you got something out of it. Remember to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs before we head over to the USA in about three and a half weeks' time. It's getting super close. My 30% club is that stick around to the very end. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon. I'll leave you with a big thrift haul right here to go and check out if you're into that kind of thing. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you soon.